Hey, I'm Randy and I'm the Cheap Audio Man. Here at the Cheap Audio Man, we don't feel like speaker cables should cost more than a security deposit on your kid's first apartment so that they can move out of the house. So uh, what are we doing today? Uh, we're building some speaker cables. Actually, we're just assembling them. So sit down, grab a cup of coffee, and let's build some speaker cables. Okay, so there's a lot of controversy about whether or not cables make a difference, expensive cables versus cheap cables, all that stuff. Okay? I don't know. Is it true? Why don't you find out for yourself? Let's figure it out for ourselves. Let's empower each other to make your own cables and then you can figure it out at a fraction of the cost as what other people would be doing. Okay? So, like you have braided cables. <sighs> And then these aren't braided cables, this is just regular 2R, okay? Good old copper, all right? So we're gonna figure out how to make these, these, just regular old 12 gauge, pure copper, oxygen free, um, nitrogen free, um, rubidium and cesium free cables, okay? And we'll put a little jacket on them, all right? So it's pretty easy. All, you only need uh, some, some good wire, roll electrical tape, uh, tape measure, banana, uh, empty jar of salsa with screws in it, heat shrink, cable jacket, wood glue, helping hands, wire stripper, wire stripper, small scissors, um, banana clips, drill bits, yellow zip ties, and LEDs, okay? So let's take a closer look at what it takes to make your own speaker cable. All right, I was just kidding with most of that stuff. Really, the only thing you need is the wire, the sheath, the banana clips, uh, some uh, electrical tape, and a knife if you want it. Otherwise, you can use a wire, wire stripper. Actually, I like these. They're about five bucks at Walmart. Go into the automotive parts area, get one of these, and it's, it's real easy but if you only have a knife you can do it it's not going to be as easy and you run a much higher risk of personal injury but you can do it you can do it all right so the first thing you want to do is figure out how long do you want your cable to be since we're not doing any braiding or anything fancy like that if you want a four foot cable just cut a piece of four foot wire okay so we are going to do i don't know let's say let's say three foot all right so, get your wire cutter or whatever you want. Measure out the wire. Cut it, kind of. Then what I do is I don't measure it again. I just use the other cable to cut another piece of wire. The same length. There we go. All right, we're done with the wire. Put that over there. Okay, now I don't, I don't strip the ends yet because what you want to do, you want to take your fancy, fancy and your pantsy cable jacket stuff and you want to shove it on there, all right? Now, initially when it comes, it comes uh, kind of like melted at, at the end and you're not going to get a cable in there. So what you want to do is cut it off with your children's scissors and then it's real easy. You just kind of shove it in there. And then just kind of feed it on there. Now a longer cable is going to be a little bit harder. But you just kind of continue to feed it on. And then you're going to push it down the, the cable. And when you get enough of this on there, you just cut it. And then that's it. Okay, so I'm going to cut to when we're done feeding it on there. Actually, we're pretty much done right now. So no real cutting as far as the movie goes all right so then we'll just cut that off all right and then we'll shove it down a little bit all right shove that end down a little bit remember you can always trim it later okay now what we're going to do is we're going to strip the ends of these like i said you can do this a variety of ways you can use something like this this is 12 so you stick it in the 12 grab it like that it's real easy. 
Let me do that. I was real bad here. Let's trim that up. Okay. Then you do, you do it with the other one. Let's see if this one's going to be easier. Not nearly as easy as I wanted it to be. All right. Yeah. I'll trim the rest off of that. Okay. Banana clips. Banana clips. Okay. I use Amazon banana clips. Why? Because they're plentiful. They get here to me very quickly. And they have a really cool little jagged edge on there. I don't know if you can see that. Maybe I'll put, take a picture and put it in there. Okay. And they're color coded. So I'll thread that on there. And now I cut this one way too short, but here's the cool thing. The jacket is just wide enough that if you don't get it enough wire out of the back, you can just kind of really shove it on and then twist it on. All right. Then what I do when I get enough, just enough wire sticking out of the top, I start folding it over. Okay. And with 12 gauge wire, it really fills up the hole quite nicely. And then when you get it all moved over, you just twist it on. And what I like to do is I like to rotate it left until I feel a click. And then I can rotate it right on. Get real tight. And then that's not that's not going anywhere. Okay? Then we do the same thing for the other side. Alright. Black. Take that off. Put it in here. Rotate it around. Get it out there. Kind of bend it over real exciting stuff isn't it all right i'm going to get enough bent over put the lid on there i'm starting to sweat because i'm hot and then that's it uh, all right nice okay so i've got a bunch of this stuff hanging out down here so what i do is i pull it back and i want about i don't know two three inches of play so that I can move these around if I need to get them in and out so I just pull the jacket down and I cut this off with my kids scissors or pink I take good old-fashioned electrical tape and then I just very neatly wrap it around now you can get like jackets and stuff like that, little Y-shaped things that makes it look prettier. But to me, I don't want the hassle. I don't want to have to wait for it and I don't want to have to try to pull it through. Anything like that. To me, this is just fine. Okay, why do I make these cables? It's not necessarily for like sound improvements or whatever. Now granted, you know, 12 gauge copper, pure copper is going to probably be better than like 24 gauge copper clad aluminum. Okay. I do it really for the convenience factor. Okay. Because this doesn't get all tangled up and things like that. So that's how you do that. And then you just do the same thing for the other end. And bada bing, bada boom, you're done. I think the wire was 50 bucks for 100 feet, 12 gauge pure copper. This was like 15. I think all in everything I got um, and the banana clips was, I don't know, right around 70 bucks. And you can get two 25 foot runs, uh, two 15 foot runs, and two 10 foot runs. And then obviously any derivative thereof of 100 feet divided by two. And then whatever you want. Okay. Point is, is you can get a lot of speaker cable that looks decent, doesn't get tangled up. And may sound better than your uh, 24 gauge copper clad aluminum stuff. And then you're not going to, you know, cut it and stuff like that. All right. So next time we're going to talk about a braided cable. And then we'll talk about maybe if there's any differences in sound, things like that. Okay. So don't binge watch anything. Binge listen to your favorite streaming service with your new speaker cables and fill your soul with happiness. And with that, I'm Randy. I'm the cheap audio man.